Hi. Hope you can see me all right there. Well, I can see you, so I guess you can see me. And I wanted to bring the camera in a bit closer because I'm going to do the old, uh, my old favourite painting of my eye. I know I've done this quite a few times before, but um, it's something I quite enjoy going back to. And I've, I've just got a few minutes before heading off to yoga and I thought it would be quite a nice exercise. So, see how it goes. So I'm just using some alizarin crimson and the sap green in order to make something for the shadow that sits there between them, the eyebrow. I might actually go a bit bigger, will I? Hmm. don't know. The shadow that sits between the eyebrow and the and the eye. Just using my cardigan because I forgot to get kitchen paper or a rag or something. Hmm, I'll make it slightly bigger than life size, I reckon. I just find that um, your eye is always kind of accessible and it's simpler than doing two eyes. Quite nice to just study the one and know that you don't have to worry about them pointing in the same direction or whatever. You can just look at the colours. One of the things I enjoy about painting an eye is to see about distinguishing parts of the eye from each other through use of colour as well as tone. Can't really see what I'm seeing yet. Well, I guess you're not really going to see my eye anyway. But when you when you do go to paint your own, I would recommend that you set yourself up so that you can see your eye and that you can see the palette, the paper that you're working on, by only moving your eyes. So that there's an easy transition from seeing to drawing down. decide whether the outer corner is higher or lower than the inner corner. And you could study the shape of the space of the whites of the eye on either side of the iris. I'm just going to find the shadow there that's kind of purplish that's coming up to meet the underside of the lower lid. meets the light that's on the upper surface of the lower lid. It's good fun, you know, using watercolour. I love the way that the pigment is transported by the water. It's just something really satisfying in that. It feels as though you're kind of in collaboration with the water. It's not it's not just you on your own. You're you're kind of open to the exciting little things that the water can do with the colour. Mm. So I'm sitting in the garden on the swinging seat and um, I've got two hot water bottles under me. <laughs> I've just had a cup of tea and uh, yoga starts.